Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Um, so this is my first video up on my channel and I'm super super excited to be uploading this. Um, today I'm gonna film this look that I have on right now. Um, it's my everyday go-to look that I do before school every morning. So yeah, I hope you keep on watching to see how you do this. Bye! Alright guys, so the first thing that I usually start off with is um, a primer of course. And the primer that I use like on a day-to-day -day basis is the um, the professional, poor professional primer by Benefit. Like, but I'm like really low and I don't have any left. Ugh. Okay, I'm squeezing some out guys. Barely any, so I'm just gonna apply this to my face. There's not even any in my hand. Hold on. Okay, well, I have this other backup primer that barely has any either. I need to go buy some. But it's the uh, Makeup Forever Step 1 Skin Equalizer. The smoothing primer. Um, so, I'm just gonna put some of this on my face. So, everywhere and anywhere you're going to put foundation on. Okay. So, now that I'm done with that, um, the next thing that I usually do is put um, foundation on. But this isn't foundation, okay? I use this every day because it's like it goes on really smooth and really light. So, um, it's just liquid powder basically it's not foundation you would actually put this over your foundation but i use it as foundation it's weird so i just put some on my hand just a little bit it's really liquidy and i get it with my fingers clean clean fingers and i just like dab it around my face okay so once i'm finished dabbing <laughs> Just kidding. Okay, so once I finish dabbing it all over my face, I'm gonna get my foundation brush, and um, this is by Bella and Bear. It looks like that. Um, they're basically like a flat top kabuki brush. It's really nice. So I'm just gonna spread this around my face. And I'm using circular motions, not like this. So. So once I'm done with that, I usually go in with um, my concealer. So the concealer that I use is the Maybelline Instant um, Age Rewind Concealer, and I'm in this shade Honey. So, you know, you just twist the, the twisty thingy, and I just put it under my eyes because I have really bad dark circles. And in between my eyebrows, over my eyebrows, and in my lash lines. Also my chin. And I get a, a damp beauty blender. This one from Real Techniques. Excuse the dirtiness. Um, and just dab. Okay, so after I put that concealer on my face, um, I get my Maybelline Fit Me um, Concealer. And I'm in the shade 25 medium. And I put this on my eyes. So I like my eyes basically before I put going with eyeshadow and then I just okay so once I put all my concealer and my foundation I go I then go in with some setting powder and the setting powder that I use is the Lancome one it's a skin illuminating sheer press powder in the shade translucent and it looks like that so I'm gonna go in with my setting brush and this is from real techniques it's just their new setting brush and I'm just going to set everywhere and anywhere I put concealer. Okay, so once I set everything, I'm going to go in and bronze up my face. Because, you know, I can get a little pale sometimes. And uh, the bronzer that I use is a NYX Matte Bronzer. And the shade Deep Tan. So I get my NARS Paddle Brush, I think that's what it's called. I really don't know what it's called, but I get the, this brush right here. And just put it on and put it right below my cheekbones. So, and also under my neck, I mean my chin and all that. Right here above my eyebrows a little bit. And then at the very top of my forehead. So once I bronze the whole face up, I then put my um, blush. 
I really don't like blush that much, so I get this really pale pinky color. Um, it's by by this brand. I cannot pronounce it. Sorry, <laughs> but it's a, just a matte blush. It's in the shade Peach Ice. So I go in with my Morphe brush that I got in like a little kit set that they have on, on their website. Swirl it in the product, tap off the excess, and just put it over the bronzer a little bit. I mean, I'm pretty sure you can hardly see that it's there. So um, after that, I moved to my eyebrows. My eyebrows. Not my eyes. My eyebrows. So what I use for my eyebrows, since I really... I really don't do anything most of the time because I, f I find that they're fine. Um, I just use this little ghetto looking thing. Um, it's the the Ulta eye I sh I I sh oh my gosh the Ulta eyebrow powder. So I get the deep it's the deep powder deep brow powder that's what it's called. So you know I just put my brush in there, um, comb on my eyebrows first. And I just put the powder anywhere where it's like a bit empty. And the brush that I'm using is also a, a Baron Bella brush. A really good line of brushes. And then I just comb them out again. So after I finish my eyebrows, I go on to my eyelids. And I usually start off with the same color all the time. Um, and this is my little custom palette that I made for Makeup Geek. But I go in with um, Peach Smoothie by Makeup Geek. And since it's too light of a color for like a transition color or something, I just put all over my lid to lighten up my lid. So then after that, I, what I do is get there's this creme brulee creme brulee by peach peach smoothie <laughs> creme brulee by makeup geek and i put that in my crease let me zoom in so now that we're up close and personal um let me continue so after I put um, creme brulee into my crease, I'm going to do the exact same thing, but with, um, hold on, let me check the color, Latte by Makeup Geek. I'm just going to put some on my brush and do the same thing. After I do that, um, I usually go in with either one of two colors. I either go in with Mocha or Cocoa Bear by Makeup Geek. It depends on whatever, you know, I feel like putting on. So today I'm going to go in with um, Cocoa Bear. So I'm just going to get this pencil brush by Bella and Bear again um, and just put it in the outer corner of my eye. And a V, V shape. So, Let's put it right there. Same thing with the other guy. I'm gonna go in with that same blending brush that I've been using by Bella and Bear, and just blend it out into my crease. So after I do that, I'm going to go in with this color right here, um, this peachy-ish color, peachy-ish pinkish color, um, and I'm just going to put this in my crease too. This is a Morphe eyeshadow. I'm not sure what color, what the color is called. I do, um, I get this color into my crease because I feel like it adds, like, your, it gives your eyeshadow something, you know, I don't know, it's, it's hard to explain. But it's kind of like um, the color Chickadee from Makeup Geek. It just gives a oomph to your look. So I'm just going to blend it out.
And then I'm going to go in with this Ulta palette that I got for Christmas. Um, and I'm going to get this um, champagne color right there. I'm going to get it on this paddle brush by Bella and Bear again. And I'm just going to spray a little bit of Fix Plus on it. Just a tad bit of the Max Fix Plus. And then I'm going to put it all over my lid. I'm going to go in with that same blending brush that I've been using and just blend out near the crease. Okay. So now that I have that done, I'm going to go in and do some liner. I don't do liner like 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 as I was saying, I don't do liquid liner like on weekdays because I feel like, I don't know, I just don't, I don't do it. So um, I go in with uh, Makeup Geek eyeshadow, um, the, the black eyeshadow that they have in the shade Corrupt. And I just get an angled, hold on, an angled brush just like that. And I just do my liner with that. All right, so after I, I do my liner, um, I get, where is it? Oh my gosh, I can't find it, okay. I get this It Cosmetics brush. It's like dual sided, um, and I use the smudger side. And what I do is I get the darkest color that I use on my lid, and which is um, Coco Vera Makeup Geek. And I just get my bottom lid. Okay, so after I do that, um, I curl my lashes. So let me zoom out. All right, guys. So I'm going to continue, and I'm just going to curl my lashes with my curler. And my liner. So. And when you're curling your lashes, you want to pump the the curler instead of just doing it once you want to continue pumping and that'll give you more volume in your lashes so um mascara that i use is a cosmetics hello lashes mascara it's like the best mascara out there you can never go wrong with this i would die for this so all right so um i just finished putting a mascara in the bottom and the top lashes so after i do that i go in with um estee lauder pure color coal liner and i just line my waterline so after that it is time to do the highlight and the lips okay so i'm gonna start by highlighting the inner corner of my eye and my brow bone so what I use to highlight that is Shimmer Shimmer by Makeup Geek. And I just use this uh, Morphe brush. And I just put it in the inner corner of my eye and the brow bone. Okay, so after I do that, I'm going to highlight my cheekbones. And what I use to highlight my cheekbones is um, the Becca highlighter and champagne pop oh my gosh um and i use the morphe m501 brush so put on my cheekbones my nose and my cupid's bow okay so after I do that, I'm going to do my lips. The last thing. Um, I'm going to line my whole, to line all my lips, I'm going to use MAC Lip Liner in the shade Whirl. So.
And once everything on my face is done, I'm gonna finally um, finish it off with uh, Max setting spray. Alright, so once the setting spray is all dried up, that is it. You're good to go. So this is my everyday makeup look. Let me just zoom in a little bit. So yeah. Hope y'all enjoyed this video. Um, hit that like button, you know. Go subscribe if you want to. Um, yeah, all the everything that I used in this video will be in the description bar below. Just in case I didn't mention anything or or whatever so yeah i really hope you enjoyed and i hope to see you next time bye